What's good everyone? Today we are talking about sales and marketing. What is sales? What is marketing? Which one is better? And which one should you do in your business? Let's talk about it. Before we get into the meat of the video, I have exciting news. Today, this video includes a giveaway. So two of you will be getting a $100 gift card for your favorite products off of Amazon. How do you win? I'm gonna tell you a little more down the line. Just keep watching and we'll talk about it. So to get started, what is marketing and what is sales? What what is the basic definition to be honest while researching for this video i have seen a lot of different definitions from a lot of different people and it feels like the uh, wikipedia type of definition doesn't really fit what we want to talk about so the main way to define these two terms is by comparing them to each other because they're both part of the same process of getting a customer all the way from hearing about my business for the first time to actually buying something buying for me signing up whatever it is both sales and marketing are full-on professions there are people who are experts in either sales or marketing or both and just me talking about it here doesn't mean i'm the expert in either i'm more of a marketer than a seller what about you are you more into sales or marketing let me know in the comments below if you're not sure yet that's okay we're gonna talk about what each one means now and you can kind of identify yourself in there so as i said the real way to kind of figure out what sales and what marketing is is by comparing them to each other so let's start with that sales is all about closing a deal it's about taking the customer and actually getting them to finish the sign up or pay you something. This is sales. Marketing, on the other hand, is all about storytelling. You try to connect emotionally with your customers or potential customers. This is marketing. It's a little less direct. It's more about connecting with you, getting you to envision using the products, promoting products and... Slicha. <laughs> My precious while sales is all about getting you to buy the bottom line and as such sales is more short term and immediate this is something that we want to happen now i want my customer to now buy this product or close the deal with me while marketing is a bit more longer term i'm telling the customer a story and i'm getting them to know me and my brand i'm getting them connected with me and eventually they will buy ideally but it's something that is not going to be immediate right Right now first thing i'm doing is kind of warming this customer up to know my brand maybe warming them up as a lead to get them to connect with me before they make the decision to purchase and as an immediate consequences of that sales is more exact and measurable you can say okay was this deal won did i close the deal or did i not did i make this revenue or did i lose it because the customer didn't end up closing the deal it's very measurable very analytics oriented it's very easy to see if something is working or not marketing on the other hand is more creative it's a little more difficult to measure marketing because a facebook post why did i say facebook i'm outing myself as a boomer here okay boomer an instagram post might have generated views might have generated awareness of your brand that eventually got someone to buy but it's more difficult to measure this is more on the soft skills side is my marketing helping people connect with my brand does it help them feel like they trust me know me and I identify with me these are questions that it's a little more hard to answer to because you might be generating a lot of followers on social media a lot of signups to your email marketing or whatever it is but it doesn't necessarily mean that people are resonating with your brand and are going to eventually buy and because the process is longer term it's kind of difficult to attribute this specific marketing event generated this specific revenue because it might have taken a while it's a timeline that the customer goes through and in sales you know they bought they came here through some marketing that I did most likely in most cases but they ended up buying because of the sales process and that's it I know how, where to attribute it to as far as sales goes sales are specific and personal if I am trying to sell something to a major client I would be talking to them specifically and adjusting what the product can do to their personal specific needs I will be doing whatever I need to do to get them to understand what the product can do specifically for them and in some cases in super high ticket items you might even adjust some of what the product does to help this specific customer because this sell is worth a lot while in marketing it's more general the net is wider you are speaking to a lot of people and yeah you should be niching down you should have a buyer's persona in mind and speak directly to them but this the buyer persona is not Ruth personally it's someone like her and because of that when I see something that is directly 
directed to me as the audience, it's not speaking specifically to me. It's speaking to the entire audience that would be like me and interested in the things that I am interested in. So when in marketing you tell a story, you tell this story not to a specific brand you or to a specific customer. You tell the story to all of the relevant customers and brands that this would resonate with. Let's talk a little bit about the tools you would use for each one of them. For sales, you would use things like emails, demos, and personal conversations, you know, phone calls or DMs or whatever it is. You would reach out personally to the person or have them reach out to you and talk to them and try to close the deal. You would communicate with them directly via emails to close the deal. And you would just do whatever you need to do specifically for them. Notice that this is very personal and specific. It is also very manual. There is no, well, there could be some automation as far as the outreach and getting people in the pipeline, but the actual conversations and the sales process, this is manual. You would need to speak to each one of them and adjust the conversation to what they need. For marketing, on the other hand, you would be using things like social media, emails, websites, landing pages, etc. Notice you can use emails for both, but in marketing, you would use them more as automations to warm the leads up and actually get them interested in you, not as personal conversations tools. Uh, your website traffic could be paid or organic and free. It might be blog and SEO, it might be PPC ads, whatever you choose to do, this is all under the umbrella of marketing and not sales. Let's connect them together for a second because they don't have to be exclusive. You might be getting people into your website for some social media marketing. They're landing on the website and they're signing up to a demo. Once they have reached the demo phase, this is where they switched over to sales. And now it's the sales rep job to actually close the deal. Before it was the marketing people's job to get them into the sales pipeline, but it doesn't have to work that way. And in the next section, we are going to talk about how to know when to use sales, when marketing, which one should you start with and use in your business. But before we do, I promised a giveaway. So this is the time for the giveaway. Just to remind you, you could win a $100 gift card for Amazon. We are giving away two of these, so two of you would be winning. To win a giveaway, all you have to do, it's a two-step solution, two steps. Not very difficult. Subscribe to the channel and comment below on this video, a video you would like us to make. What is a topic you would like us to talk about? We are in this channel to serve you. We enjoy making these videos, but we want them to be useful for you. So let us know what else you would want us to talk about so that we can create content that you love. And in the process also win a giveaway. Why not, right? Yeah, we're going to announce the giveaway winners right before next week's video in the community tab. So make sure you follow so you don't miss out if you are the winner. But make sure to come back in a week and check it out because otherwise you'll be losing your gift card and that's a shame, right? Yeah. So when should you use sales and when should you use marketing? Let me give you an example from our product, Reconvert. In Reconvert, we didn't do any sales for the first two, two and a half years. We started doing sales in the past year or two, which is not a lot. We mainly focused on marketing. And the reason we can do that is because we built a product that sells itself. We have a video that we'll link up here about how to build a product that sells itself. I think it's super valuable. If you don't know how to do sales, you don't have the resources and you just want to get started and get some leads into your product. So check it out after this video. Of course, finish watching first. So when to do sales, when to do marketing, that would depend on a few things. First thing first, sales is a really important process for high ticket items. If you are selling an expensive product, then you probably need sales. Because you know, people have a more difficult time deciding to pay for an expensive product than they would for a cheaper one. So you want to convince them, right? You want to take them through the process and kind of alleviate their concerns. And that is the sales process. This is where you speak to them personally. It's also worth it because the product is expensive enough for you to waste or or more correctly, invest the time of the salesperson. Marketing, on the other hand, is a really good fit for mid and low ticket items. Things that we can easily buy without you know, having to do too much thinking over. We see that in our day-to-day -day life. We buy things all the time without going through a sales process, only hearing about them through marketing. Another place where sales is a must is when onboarding is not automatic. When you have to take the customer by the hand and onboard them to the new product or service that you're offering and do some customization for them, then you have to do sales. You have to take them through, teach them how to use the product, train them how to use it, and implement that in their business life 
whatever it is. Marketing is really good when your product is self-service. If it is plug and play, if I can just install it or download it or buy it and use it, then I don't need sales. I can do it myself. The product is built in a way that allows me to get started without talking to anyone. Just, you know, get it myself, do it. Another really important variant is the industry. The industry really affects whether or not you have to do sales. For example, an industry like real estate, insurance, cars, on-premise software, and huge deals of software, whatever it is on-premise or cloud. These are traditionally high commitment industries, things that the customer has to really think about and decide to do because it's not as easy to get out of once you get in. And for that reason, they need to speak to someone. <laughs> they need to speak to someone to explain the terms and conditions, to alleviate their concerns, and maybe even adjust the price for them, for what fits them and help them choose the right variant. On the other hand, marketing is really good when this is an industry like e-commerce, SaaS businesses, design services all of these things are just not things that you have to talk to someone to make the decision you can just make the decision on your own it's low commitment you're not committing to a yearly plan for five years or anything like that you are only buying something specific or maybe you are buying a SaaS product that you pay for monthly but can opt out of at any point you want these things don't require sales and of course this goes along with the self-service option you don't need to talk to someone you just get started you just buy it that's it easy and as I mentioned, sales and marketing are not mutually exclusive. They can live together. In fact, in most cases, they do. You might not have to do a lot of sales to actually sell something. You might not have to do a lot of marketing to get someone in the funnel and into the sales process, but usually they feed each other and they benefit each other. So what stages of the funnel are we talking about? With marketing, you start at the beginning of the funnel. All the way from awareness to sign up could be marketing. But with sales, we're talking about about the sign up process. This is the end of the funnel, taking the customer the last mile to actually complete the process and become your customer. So marketing would be generating leads into sales so that sales can close them and turn them into customers. Again, marketing can live all on its own and help you close customers without you having to do anything. It's all automatic. That can happen. You don't have to end it with a sales funnel. That's fine, but you can. You can link these two so that you have both marketing and sales. Ideally, that's that's what you should do if you have the resources and the need for it. Now that you know a little more about sales and marketing, are you a salesperson or are you a marketer? Me personally, definitely a marketer. I'm not good at sales. It's not my thing, not great at it. I love marketing. That's something that I love to do. And it's such a wide word. You can learn so much about it. If you are interested in learning a little more about some three free marketing tactics that we have used from day one that helped us over here, this video. And if you want to see what YouTube wants you to see, it's up here. Enjoy.